Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another recap video. It is still the same day as the BKSY um, recap because I traded AVDL and that one on the same day together. So here I am gonna do the recap video for it. Alright, alright. <clears throat> so I ended up trading AVDL as well. Um, this one I liked it for a long because one it was SSR and two it dropped from threes all the way down to one dollar yesterday uh, so you know that just kinda oh and it was the top gainer all pre-market this morning um so one what's my rule do not short ssr two this is like today's like bounce day from all the way from one like and it's the only thing that's moving um and it's right before a three-day weekend um, so it's just kind of like there's all the signs to just maybe not short this today. Uh, so, so yeah, I ended up taking along basically my pre market watch list that I posted on my Discord. Um, I was saying that I was gonna watch. 150 160 hold as support and then if those hold then i was gonna look for a potential long back over that pre-market high at 173 for moving to 180s all the way up to two um <laughs> so as you can see this thing went all the way to 267 which is insane nice squeeze um you know unfortunately i didn't hold it for that i was not expect expecting that move and i'm going 100 percent plus i don't know how much percentage but um basically worked out pretty well but i mean like in hindsight like well for first the first things first um it was, it was starting to form this trend line here at the open it got extended retraced back into the trend line so held the trend line and then basically shot up made a lower high or a higher low and then from there it just basically kept breaking high a day right there broke high day and i just kept selling into that rip um I thought I was gonna fail, but I mean, at this point, I was also trading BKSY, so it's like too long at the same time. I'm good, you know, like I'll take what I could get. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it kind of took what mm, about two, three hours, two hours from the open to get all the way up here. Um, so, yeah, this is a great great long great SSR this is the type of SSR squeezes we look for out here um, but yeah like it's just this trend line is too clean you got got this dip Right inside the trend line, I was like, buy, add more. We're gonna break highs, wait for it, wait for it, holds, and then boom, there's your push. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, see 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 the power of SSR um, and why you should avoid trading or shorting it. Uh, so yeah, so you know, sometimes it's good to kind of 
look at the big picture and not try to be biased. I'm still working on this myself, but that's kind of what I've learned. Um, I feel like if you want to be a, a better short seller, you have to be a good long biased trader. Or you, it's, it's like you just you have to know what not to do on one side so that it makes it easier to do it on the other side so for example for me to say do not short SSR why not and that basically tells me because usually it squeezes higher therefore why not long it instead? So that's why I say I rather avoid anything short SSR. And if I'm not going to short it, I'm going to long it. And if I long it, it has to have the volume. And the chart just has to align with not being extended on the daily and looking like a potential breakout um so and then same thing with longs like if, if you're trying to buy the dip on the but if you're if you're buying it on the back side then it's it's gonna it's not gonna end up it's not gonna end up good because it's gonna end up lower um so sometimes I've bought in SSR dips, but it ends up failing, but that's only because after the initial squeeze, it usually fails or like some type of squeeze move that it does. Um, but this is pre-market. If it does that, then it has to have the volume to continue. If it doesn't, then it's going to fail. So that's when those SSR longs do fail. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just kind of what I'm seeing lately and uh, I'm trying to adapt to this market and not be too short biased, but not also not be, you know, long bias on everything because all these things are freaking crap anyways. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we, we'll see what we get on Tuesday, Monday, so stock market's closed. So three day weekend, everybody. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comment down below or hit me up in my Discord group. I'll post a link in the description below in case you want to join it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.